Things are not looking good for Drake, man. First, they vandalized his store in London, and now they actually are shooting up his spot right now, bro. Pause. That sounded weird, too. This is courtesy of CBC News Toronto. Original link in the description. Let's rock. A oh, shooting investigation happening at the Bridal Path area home of Drake. The Toronto rapper is currently involved in a high-profile rap battle with Kendrick Lamar. Lamar even using Drake's home as the cover art for one of the songs. The is you think that has something to do with all deal. this? We Let me know. Heard from investigators, what are they telling you? That's right. So Toronto police say that there was a shooting near Bayview Avenue and Lawrence Avenue East around 2 a.m. this morning. Police located a man who was suffering from gunshot wounds and he was taken to hospital Crazy. with serious injuries. Police say that wow. this man is a security guard who works at Drake's house right behind me here behind this police tape. Police also say that they, uh, the suspect fled in a getaway vehicle, but they don't have mm -hmm. a description of it. Now, what's interesting is that police do have video evidence of the shooting taking place, but they they don't have a clear description of that car. One of our colleagues, uh, Megan Fitzpatrick, had this interaction with police during that police scrum. Have a listen. You said you have video capturing the incident? Yes. The actual shooting? Yes. And you can't give us a description of the vehicle? Nope, not at this time. You don't want to release it? No, because I, I, it's, we're dealing with video quality issues, correct? So we, uh, as we have information and we're able to analyze video better, then we'll be able to provide more information. Dwight, I'll give you a sense of what's going on behind me here. So this house is Drake's house, the one that's sandwiched in between the police tape. Police have begun to clear out the scene. There was evidence markers and police cones on the property earlier, but they've began to clear out of the residence as well. Uh, they do say that they are working with Drake's team. He is, is aware of this situation. He hasn't made any public statements yet on social media or otherwise. So, Dale, as we mentioned earlier, this is happening against the backdrop of Drake's very public beef with rapper mm -hmm. Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, that's right, Dwight. Drake has been embroiled in a very public uh, rap beef or feud with Compton, California-based rapper Kendrick Lamar. They are two of the biggest, if not the biggest, acts in hip-hop music. And they have been releasing songs uh, aimed at each other that have some very serious allegations about one For another, real. including domestic abuse, including pedophilia. Yeah. They have dragged each other's families into their song lyrics. Now, we can't say that any of that has anything to do with this shooting investigation. What we do know is that Kendrick Lamar's latest diss track was released on Saturday and the cover art that he chose to use for that song is a Google Earth aerial shot mm. of this home, of Drake's house here in what Toronto. A lot of Again, attention zero to evidence his home, to right? suggest that that has anything to do with this, but we do know that Drake, again, is uh, cooperating with police. The police also acknowledging that they're aware of this rap beef and it could potentially be part of this investigation. However, it is early. We also spoke with some neighbors, Dwight, to... Uh, I bring you back to the shooting, but one of them says that she heard nothing. Another says that they heard three to four shots and uh, they heard a car drive away. Dale Manuknuk on the bridal path. Thank you for this, Dale. Shout out to CNC, Toronto News. We have them linked in the description. Go check them out, please. Now, is Kendrick Lamar to blame for all of this? This is the conversation that I want to have with you all, you know. And also, some people are going to be saying, oh, Drake's cooperating with the police. Oh, Drake is cooperating. Dude, if your place gets shot up, they come into your house, bro. Okay? And this is now really effort serious, right? I mean, let's be real. Drake ain't no street dude, right? He's been an actor. She was a child actor, right? He wasn't even Degrassi. I never even watched that show. But I'd see all the memes with him in the wheelchair and all of that. But, like, this guy's not a street dude, right? And his place got shot up. He's going to be cooperating with the police. I'm already seeing posts on, like, Instagram and, and social media. And people are talking about, like, cooperating. Like, come on. Let's be real here. Has this gone too far? Did Kendrick Lamar go too far with the artwork of his home? That's a big question. Some are going to say no, because if you really want to know where Drake lives, just like any other celebrity, you could pretty much find it out online, right? But at the same time, some people are going to say, yo, he put a lot of attention to where he stays at, you know, and that's where he rests his head at. Pause. Look at uh, like Pop Smoke, you know, a lot of people think that the reason why he is no longer here no more was, um, you know, that photo on Instagram. 
that basically put his location out there. With it had his like address on a bag or something. Like everyone's got their theories on that. And this is really dangerous now. This is to the point where do you guys think Drake needs to move? Does Drake need to move to a new place? Or does Drake need to not stay over there for a little bit? I think that Drake doesn't need to sell his home. But I do think that Drake probably should not stay there no more. Who knows if Drake was even there also or not. They did say that he was going to be cooperating, but that doesn't mean that he was actually staying there. You know, So who knows with all of that. But all I know is that it is getting a little crazy now. And you have a lot of fans that really take this to heart. People are literally ending friendships over this, over arguing with each other. I've seen a few people posting stuff. Um, allegedly, uh, I won't even say who, but you guys may know what I'm talking about. But someone threatened to fire someone because they were uh, rooting for one, <laughs> one person versus the other, right? It's getting crazy out here. Who won the battle? I would love for you to tell me right now. Let me know in the comments, are you going with Drake or are you going with Kendrick Lamar? I would say that it's about 50-50 on the split, right? I do think that a lot of people that are like purists with hip-hop, the cool thing to do is go with Kendrick Lamar, right? So I think some people are going with Kendrick just because of that route. Me, I'm a little torn at this point where I am. For a, a while, I was all about Drake. And uh, the last two records really uh, set a tone. But are there receipts? Are there receipts? Now, some people are going to say, what about that video with the 17-year-old, right, where Drake had her on the stage? She actually just made a statement, you know, talking all about that. So he didn't know. She's, she said that he didn't even know anything about it. It was Drake's crew, his staff, that brought her up there. So, like... There's no real receipts that I'm actually seeing. There's none. So until I see receipts, how legit is Kendrick's acquisitions, right? You got Rick Ross still on Drake's neck. And now we have the game coming at Rose. If you want to know that whole entire story, we just covered it. We just went into details on that. And so much more. Definitely check all that out. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I love, we love, everyone all over the world loves reading your comments. So leave a comment, subscribe, join the membership, and check out my t-shirts. I got dope merch. You're gonna be fresh to death like a million bucks. Let's go. Check out Shawn Michaels tweeting about the Kendrick song he was mentioned in. He also invites them both to WWE NXT to settle things. Leave your thoughts.